hello everyone in this video i will explain how open roots is more advantage in the data set cuts uh, thing okay so this is a simple comparison it's not like a software comparison simple comparison of the data shortcuts okay there is no need to create any data shortcuts in the open roads why we need a data shortcuts as you are aware that to reduce the load on the file okay we are creating a separate separate files for surface we have to create separate alignment corridor so how how it will affect it will affect the load on the file and it will reduce a lot so that's why civil 3d introduced as data shortcuts but in open roads there is no need of data shortcuts simply you have to xf okay i will show how to do that and uh, i will show data shortcuts thing also so let me start okay see this is the surface file okay here we have the uh, points i have created using the points only you can see simply using break lines and point groups only that simple method i already kept so many videos okay and one more thing i want to tell you there is one channel in a civil 3d pro trips and tricks okay in that he explained very clearly how to create data shortcuts everything okay so i am just i just created and i will show the next steps okay so next see here i already synchronized so dummy surface has been created in a data shortcuts now we'll go to the second file alignment file see this is i'll remove this first okay this is empty okay now go to here just create reference okay now it will ask to synchronize see it came so now i'll create alignment using alignment creation tools i just simply keep okay i'll go with the straight with curves alignment let's simple alignment not a perfect one okay that's it okay alignment done now i have to draw a profile okay now we'll go to create surface profile add dummy surface drawing profile view just nothing no need to keep anything just next 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 just simply see this is the one now you have to go to profile creation tools it will ask the profile view give some name profile one okay simply click okay now can do draw straight with curves something you can do whatever okay okay done 150 curve i have given now next. we'll go to the corridor okay before going to corridor we have to create a data shortcuts of this alignment so how to do that just go to alignment first go to data shortcuts right click create data shortcuts it will show like this go to profile one select profile one no need to create select the dummy surface because surface is already uh, created okay. okay now you can see profile one has been data shortcut has been created now we'll go to corridor file okay this is empty so what you have to do you have to make a dummy create reference okay now again alignment also you have to make reference here just create reference okay wait before that i have to save I have to save that save it and then go to corridor then again go to alignment profile right click create reference profile style you can keep design profile okay the name it is asking you can keep whatever complete label set 
see okay alignment came with profile you can check here see profile also there okay profile one now i want to create a corridor so why i am creating like this to reduce the load so if you create a sing in a single file surface alignment corridor uh, for editing just small editing means some tapper you want target control it will take a so much time so if you create separate files it will reduce the load on the file okay so now i am going to create a corridor before creating a corridor you have to create some assembly simple assembly you can give basic tool in okay just keep this origin now go to toggle space okay, here you can go go with the crown wood line a simple select and then you can give the shoulders okay here it is left so left now same for right so what you have to do here you have to do right then that's it now you have to give some end conditions end conditions are nothing but daylight here daylight general okay okay now here Okay, done. Now close. You have to apply here. Go to corridor, corridor. See now give the name corridor one, alignment one selected, profile one also selected. Even though it is not in this file, we just have an extra fit. Means created a shortcuts, basic tool in then surfaces dummy. Okay, okay. Here you can reduce that interval. Nothing but drop interval in open roads. Can make here key stations in open roads. Okay. Simply apply. Rebuild the corridor. Okay. You can see corridor has been created. So this is the advantage of data shortcuts. One main advantage is that it is dynamic, not a static one. If you change small change in a alignment, okay, something like this. If I'll change corridor, some alignment like this. See now, save. At a time, two three persons can work. Even for drawing production also, you can see it will ask synchronize see still now it is there if i will do synchronize alignment will get see only alignment shifted why i have to rebuild the corridor also so to rebuild the corridor go to here see symbol is there right click rebuild okay see this is the advantage of data shortcuts okay now we will move to the open roads in open roads there is this much work there is no need to or create this much uh, folders and uh, uh, synchronize all those things you just have to xf like simple xr here see here there is xr option so in open roads that this thing is enough okay let's move to the open roads first we'll go to the uh, terrain terrain thing. terrain while creating a terrain always select 3d seed don't create in a 2d seed okay so so this is the surface i have created from the graphical filter option just display the triangles okay same same data i have taken i just added same xf and then i created a graphical filter graphical filter manager for lines and points and then i added a group after that i created from the graphical filter option okay and it is synchronized not like a uh, see here if you do any changes in the cad file automatically it will get updated using this option okay update from source now let's move to the um, other thing means uh, advantages over the civil 3d so i already opened the alignment file see this is the alignment file no need of any folders just you have to go to attach tools see it will ask for reloading okay 
just you have to accept it attach nothing okay if you attach it see now okay and you can before after attaching you have to activate you have to make act active terrain okay then you can do the profile okay how to do the profile go to open profile model and then here select some view see i already done a profile okay, using simple uh, line between points and then arc between elements option after doing this you just make active okay so once it is active now we can move to the corridor file corridor file separate see here okay in corridor you just have to xref no need to uh, create any folder just simply attach tools okay attach the whatever the xref now again reload reload is means if you if you have done any changes in the terrain file it will show a pencil symbol okay see reload okay once the reloading is done you have to go to corridor options new corridor already created and you have to select the template and then simply run it and then you can check the cross sections using dynamic sections go to dynamic sections and select the corridor and then here you can see you can see go on you can check okay cross sections you can place dimensions also here right click here place horizontal so this is the main advantage means there is no need to create any data shortcuts simply you have to xref okay here okay that is the one of the best advantage in a open roads compared to civil 3d in civil 3d you have to create a data shortcuts that is also good option but compared to that here it is very easy okay no need to do uh, nothing just simply xref it okay you can do profile you can do uh, for a uh, production also plan profile and cross section just you have to create a, another another file simply i will show wait i'll new here i can keep drawing production okay so then sheet should be 2d okay save so it is see it is empty now what you have to do just simply attach terrain alignment corridor these three should be attached okay simply okay okay done okay now what you have to do you have to activate the terrain see set as active okay now what you have to do you have to open a 3d view also right click view control 3d view now you can switch off these uh, triangles if you don't want just simply here override symbology make it as yes then switch off okay now we can do cross sections also how to do that drawing production go to named boundary place named boundary okay here this one we can select a1 axis simply interval first select the center line from where to where you want okay. i just want only 500 meters okay i don't want a one kilometer give the left offset and right offset see it will show okay lines to cover the uh, some extent then interval you want 20 meter or else exaggeration means nothing but scale i want to keep one is to one only so i'll keep one then no don't need to create uh, this option you can create it uh, you can click it or uh, untick no issue if you create it it will ask directly annotation groups okay so i'll keep this now left click see it will ask for the annotation groups the best annotation group is the frame and grid okay this one okay Just simply i don't want to create any sheets 
uh, uh, just let it be six sheet okay okay see uh, 26 sheets are creating so this is the main thing uh, means no need to uh, give the load for the file so here everything is separate okay for alignment surface corridor all are separate so all are synchronized okay, using the xrf option in civil 3d we have to do data shortcuts okay see this is the advantage you can uh, adjust this using go to this option Just simply right click move like this you can adjust it then can select this also right click move okay like this see you can do for all this all things and you can export it to the AutoCAD or whatever see okay to change this uh, station you have to do modifications in the annotation groups okay uh, I hope you like the video. Please subscribe my channel and have a look over the Civil 3D Pro Trips and Tricks to get exact idea how to create a data shortcuts and uh, uh